I'm Blake Mertz, I'm an assistant professor in the C. Eugene Bennett Department of Chemistry here at West Virginia University. So the problem our research intends to solve is to get basically a molecular level picture, a very detailed picture of how electricity is conducted through proteins. Put it this way, when you plug in any device into an outlet, we know that those wires are composed of copper and that electricity just naturally flows through those wires from point A to point B. And the reason for that is because metals are phenomenal conductors. With proteins, if you want to try to use those as a conducting material, what you put in is not always what you're going to get out. And so we need a very detailed picture of how those electrons in, in that compose electricity move through a protein so that we can determine where we lose those electrons along the way. Most of the things that we utilize for today's everyday life are powered by computer chips, whether it's a smartphone, whether it's your laptop, tablets. We could potentially make a chip that's basically five times smaller than the smallest chips that are used in devices today. You always want something to run faster or run more efficiently or your battery life to last longer. Increasing the number of transistors on a chip will allow you to do that. The ability to fabricate or to manufacture biologically based circuits has far reaching environmental effects as, as well as just the ability to advance technology. So the, the proteins that we would use, like the components of these circuits, are a renewable resource. We can basically mass produce these using microorganisms. You're basically able to circumnavigate a lot of the issues that we're having in today's technology industry with the fact that um, very few nations have the majority of natural resources that are used to manufacture these kinds of devices. Hopefully some of the gains in the, in the you know, research insights that we're making with the theoretical work that we do will serve as the foundation for people being able to expand upon that and eventually make this more of a practical application instead of solely in the realm of basic research.